Entering North Adams, there's the familiar Berkshire beauty. From the majesty of Mount Greylock to the wonders of Natural Bridge State Park, a landscape that's drawn people in for centuries. Where rushing rivers once powered mills, relics of industry endure. Vast spaces now repurposed to attract and inspire. There's something singular about this place. It's this combination of the ecology and the culture. Mass Mocha brought Ben Svensson here for a visit a decade ago. The then Boston-based developer was captivated. As a buildings person, I really fell in love with the buildings. One in particular caught his eye, the Redwood Motel. A 18-room, 1962 motor court, kind of just what you think it would be. He and four partners transformed that into this, the Tourists Hotel, one of several new destinations in North Adams. North Adams is a place that 100 years ago had an enormous tourism industry. Any given hour in the summertime, there'd be over 100 cars in the 19-teens surrounding the hairpin turn. Tourists is a tribute to the old roadside motel, just turned around. In the way that in 1962, the road held lots of interest, and there were big windows that faced the roadway. In 2018, of course, the woods are of much more interest to people. So there are no windows in the front. Door, 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 door. They're in the back. Walls of glass with private decks off every room. Inside, an organic modern elegance invites escape and offers simple luxury. Tourists' 65 acres include a pool for lounging and trails for exploring. The name seemed an obvious choice after the discovery of this sign. This was a convention on the Mohawk Trail 100 years ago. If you had a business that catered to tourists, you would put a sign on the side of the street that said tourists with an arrow that pointed to your business. Heeding that call, James Beard award-winning chef Courtney Burnt. She moved from San Francisco to partner with tourists. Her fine pastries welcome guests. There's an all-day menu. This 1813 farmhouse was being set up for service during our visit. And we'll have hot food available every evening here. We'll have some music. Researching the roots of North Adams is inspiring offerings. There's this sort of commingling of cultures and flavors, and that's where kind of that creativity comes in, saying, well, what, what would happen if this flavor and this flavor went together? And almost like asking for permission through history to use certain ingredients. Thoughtful preparation goes into her fish stew. So it's taking the idea of like a French boulevard. There's a lot of French Canadians that came down. And then the ideas of a red lentil stew that we would see, let's say, from a Lebanese culture, which was also here. Over this bed of cooked lentils, the freshest fish of the day. And we have some kale, a little bit of onion and fennel. The warm autumn dish invites you to slow down and enjoy. That's the intention here. I mean, this is all about building community. This is about people coming together and sharing time and space. On the grounds of Mass Mocha, Bright Ideas Brewing wants to foster community too. There's a special moment happening right now in the city that's a kind of renaissance and it's thirsty work. Longtime buddies and beer lovers Eric Kearns and Orion Howard opened Bright Ideas in 2016. We were actually sitting in a brewery one day having a beer at this little brewery. And so why do we have to drive so far? Yeah, to get a nice <laughs> head. And it's like the way the weather's came out. From the lightest of lagers to the darkest of stouts, they make it all. This is our red ale, it's called Rothko Red. But you have to come to North Adams for a taste. 95% of what we sell is sold over this bar in pint glasses. This is really, really it. good. Isn't that nice? Yeah. What's a beer, though, without a bite? So a pizza outpost occupies a corner of the tap room. Enjoy a slice or a sandwich is A-OK, -okay too. Just steps from Bright Ideas, also at Mass Mocha, is a brand new barbecue joint. It's takeout only, the vision of a butcher and a baker who happen to be married. We'll do a hot sliced brisket sandwich, we'll do a pulled pork sandwich. After opening several restaurants in New York City, Aaron and Alexandra Oster decided the simpler, the better. Less is more, right? The brisket is just salt and pepper. The chicken is just a few spices. Come taste our delicious food and then take it wherever you want to go. Often that's right back to Bright Ideas where Orion and Eric want their brewery to blend more than just barley and hops. For too long, they say museum goers and locals didn't mix. 
When you see some North Adams firefighters and a couple from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, who's up visiting and talking to each other, it's great. At this particular time in American history, it's great to have all of those you know, different ideas coming together. Ideas do abound these days in North Adams. Amanda Chilson from Mass in Motion is excited about progress on proposed bike paths through the city. To really connect people that are coming to visit as well as families to get from here to there together on bikes. The long-term goal is to connect Connecticut to Vermont through the Berkshires. That is definitely the hope and the dream to have it come through North Adams, maybe even come through Mass Mocha. More mill buildings are being reborn. This one-time cotton mill is now a grand event space. Everywhere that you see one of these squares is where a machine would have sat back in the day. Weddings, performances, and local markets are now hosted at Greylock Works. Nate Sampson is overseeing construction on the 240,000 square foot property. We're doing an entire transformation to the entire campus, and we are based around food and design here. Back at Tourists, Ben Svensson welcomes it all. There's a constant influx of people with an idea, trying it out. He suggests before leaving, we try a short trek. Tourists built this suspension bridge to span the Hoosick River, and not too far through the woods. Check this out. What they call their chime chapel. It's tuned to A sharp minor. It's the blend of new waiting to be found and the old ready for rediscovery that makes North Adams so special. The more you dig into the past of this place, you fall in love with those things that drew people here 100 years ago. And that chime chapel that mm -hmm. you just saw was actually designed by New Orleans Airlift, an artist collective from Louisiana, and it was commissioned by tourists. And one of the partners behind tourists is actually John Stewart, mm -hmm. and he is a member of the band Wilco. All right, back at the end, the chef Courtney Barnes no longer there, now replaced by Corey Wentworth, who is the new chef. Next, artistic expression by dogs.